pie like a big pizza pie. That's amore. Let's go eat. One thing is for sure, amore's is not being hampered by the indoor dining ban. I can assure you of that, judging by that flock of customers uh, lining up to get Amore's pizza. Now, from the outside, the place is basically very ordinary looking, tucked among all these other restaurants and stores in this shopping plaza. How extraordinary is their pizza? We're here to find out, guys. Two slices, two slices. Cash only. You know this place is serious about their pizza when they state that they only accept cash only so uh, that's always a good sign let's see what we're in for guys amores slices are smaller than i thought the slices are smaller than i thought okay the dough has a kind of how are we looking on the bottom nice nice dark brown a little black not exactly leoparding not leopard skin char but some char nonetheless Smells good. Let's give it a shot. All right, guys, I made up my mind. This is the type of pizza where you take one bite and you make up your mind. But I got to talk about it first. Well, let's start with the crust. That's where I always go to first when talking about a pizza, because let's face it, guys, the foundation of every pizza is its foundation. No pun intended. I like the crisp, all right? The pizza had some really good crisp. First bite to last. I must say, that's some pretty good cheese on there. Never once did I have to reach for a napkin. My hands are clean, clean. Look at that. Look at that, it should be a hand model. A uh, nice and crispy first bite to last. That is probably the only thing that separates this pizza from the generic stuff you can find anywhere. Now, a lot of people put a lot of emphasis on the crisp factor. They want crispy pizza. But would you like crispy pizza if it were stale bread crispy pizza? I mean, stale bread is crispy. If that's not what you want your pizza to taste like. I'm not saying that Amore's tastes like stale bread, but I kind of, it, it reminded me of it for some reason, some, for some odd reason. It, it's got a strange aftertaste. Uh, for one thing, guys, I, I will say they do a good job with the cheese and the sauce ratio. When you can see the sauce underneath the cheese, that's always good. That means the cheese to sauce ratio is spot on because sometimes they put so much cheese on these pizzas uh, that they, you know, the sauce gets lost and you don't taste it. It's not a messy pie either. That cheese stays on. When you separate the slices, nothing trailed away, no cheese trailed off. I got them piping hot. So uh, it's, it's a pretty neat pie, pretty neat composed. I give it that. So plus there, but will it crack the eight mark? Will it crack the eight mark? I like my pizza with some oregano on it. Not even a hint of herb on this thing. Nothing, no oregano. New York slice, come on. You know, I had Louie and Ernie's today. Go check out my Louie and Ernie's review. Or should I say Louie and Ernie's? That pizza was spiced. It was nice and salty. There was a lot of hard cheese blended into that mutz. Not the case here, guys, not the case. Sauce a little bit on the sweet side, not exactly pulpy. But on the bright side, guys, uh, it's not a dry pizza at all. Good amount of sauce on this thing for a New York slice, which, uh, you know, they're known to be mostly cheese pizzas. New York pizzas, are, uh, the, the cheese takes the front seat, you know? And all, very often the sauce gets overlooked on a New York pie. Not the case. Not the case here with the Amores pie. Pizza is far from pale. Therefore, we move it up the scale. Pizza gets cold, we give it another fold. It's crackling, it's crackling. Still crackling. And this thing, I don't think this thing will ever flop. It's very consistent. I must say, I think I went into this thing with 
high expectations, extremely high expectations. You wait 20 minutes online, you're expecting to be blown away. You're expecting to be moist and never mind that. Can't give it the eight, but I am going to give it a seven, seven. Still very good pizza, solid score. I think that's a fair score for this pizza. I think it's a fair score. I'm thinking of all the other slices I ate before this, guys. Right now, through my head, the files are just flipping through the Rolo decks. Be well, guys. Like, sub, hit that bell so you can watch my videos as soon as they drop. Until next time, this is Antonio signing off.